So what's going on, everyone? So I just want to walk you through how you can lock in a stock price, uh, today's stock price, and purchase a stock in the future. Um, and I want to show you an example using Delta Airlines. Um, and the reason I want to use Delta, uh, for one, it's one of my favorite companies. Also, too, they're trading at a really good discount right now. Um, if you go back to about January 17th, uh, they were trading at 62.13. The stock price is now at 26.91. Uh, that's where it closed on Friday. Um, you know, obviously, once the market opens, you know, possibly, you know, that price will be different. Um, it may be higher, it could be lower. Uh, we don't know if it's, we're going to enter into a second wave. So the stock price may take another hit. But, you know, obviously, this airline here and other airlines, they're not going to fail. Um, Delta, uh, you know, is one of the, the largest airlines. I want to say it's the second largest commercial airline uh, behind American Airlines. Um, but Delta isn't going anywhere no time soon. Um, and that stock price is going to uh, shoot back up once travel starts to pick back up. Um, you know, over the course of months, once COVID gets out of the way. But what I want to do is I want to show you how you can lock in this price here at $26. That way you have, uh, let's see, let's go to the options chain. Uh, that way you have 571 days to come up with the remainder uh, to buy 100 shares of Delta. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you can lock in a price today, but it's going to give you the option to buy 100 shares of Delta Airlines uh, until January 21st of 2022. Um, now, of course, you know, you have plenty of time to save up for the rest. And I know you're like, hey, you know, I don't have money to invest about 100 shares of Delta, uh, but no worries. The purpose of this video is to show you exactly how to lock in the price today for a fraction of the cost. That way, it's going to give you until January 2022 to come up with the remainder of the money. And I'm going to show you using an options contract. OK, now, before we get into the details, what I'm going to do is go through what an options contract is and the options contract that we're going to use. We're going to use a call option. Now, a call option is a contract that gives the buyer the right, but not the obligation to buy a stock, bond, commodity or other instrument at a specified price within a specific time frame. Now, remember, that specific time frame is January 21st, 2022. So you're going to lock in a specific price, which is going to be the strike price, which I'm going to explain to you and go over until 2022. OK, and the price that we're going to use today, we're going to we're going to go close to at the money. Now, at the money, when you're using options at the money is the price, the strike price that's closest to the stock price. Now, technically, it's not 100 percent at the money. But what we're going to do, uh, the closest is going to be a twenty five dollar strike price. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock in the right, but not the obligation to buy 100 shares of Delta Airlines at twenty five dollars. Now, that is going to give us a little bit of intrinsic value. Uh, we have a dollar and ninety one cents, one dollar and ninety one cents of intrinsic value uh, because we are in the money already. And you'll see this uh, yellowish like uh, orange orange bar here is showing you where the stock price currently is. OK. Now, in order for us to lock this price in, of course, we are going to have to pay a debit. We do have to pay a deposit to at least lock the price in. Um, you know, just a, an example, if we wanted to use like real estate, let's say, for instance, you have a home that's on the market and it's trading at a good discount, a steep discount, let's say about two hundred thousand. Uh, but, you know, the the homes, the comps in that neighborhood, uh, they go for upwards of four hundred thousand. And you may not have the funds. or You may not even qualify for the home today, but you approach that homeowner that is selling. And you say, hey, I'm actually going to pay you a deposit of, let's say, two thousand dollars to lock in the price of the home at two hundred thousand dollars. But I need you to give me two years to exercise this contract. Now, all of the all of the, uh, the options, all of the power lies in your hands because you have the right to exercise that contract at any time up until expiration. Now, that is the only thing uh, I won't say the only thing, but that is the difference between stock and options, because if you buy a stock, the, the stock, as long as the company doesn't declare bankruptcy as long as they're not delisted as long as they're in business as long as they're a publicly traded company that stock is never going to expire on you but with this call option like i said you do have a specified time to react um, so going back to the real estate option everything lies in your favor because you can go to that homeowner anytime within a two-year time frame whatever time frame you will lock in where you can exercise that option and buy the home and the same thing works with this call option you can exercise this option at any time as long as you do it before January 21st of 2022. So you get the rest of the funds, whether it's tax time, you can go ahead and 
exercise that option and buy 100 shares of Delta at $25. And let's say, let's say it's, it's a year from now and Delta stock is trading at $40. But because you locked in that strike price at $25, you now can take delivery of 100 shares at $25. And you can either sell it right at the market price as soon as you take, uh, you know, possession of the shares, or you can just hold on to it. But also what I'm going to do is show you the factors that affect uh, the stock options. OK, so you have, you know, your Greeks, you're going to have some factors, of course, over time, you are going to lose value of this stock option uh, by theta. Theta is time decay. So you're going to lose a portion of your premium every day as each day goes by. Uh, but the good thing is this is this is far out. This is 571 days. And because I actually haven't seen this much volume this far out, but obviously because of covid, um, you know, uncertainty. A lot of investors are locking in prices far out from now because they are very confident that, you know, the economy is going to be restored years from now. And this here, we're going out two years. OK, so what this is here, we're looking at an options chain of Delta. And like I said, this here is what you see the strike price. So we're going to lock in this twenty five dollar strike price. What we're going to do that debit that we're going to pay that deposit is ten dollars. Now, technically, we do need the stock price of Delta to go to $35 before we actually start to see a profit. And the reason we get that is because you have to add the debit that you pay to your strike price. So we won't see a penny of profit until the stock price of Delta gets to $35. And that's this gray area here on the curve tab on the Tastyworks platform. And you'll see that 35 is where you start to make that profit. Okay. The deposit that you're going to pay. And the reason it is a thousand, this is your max loss, which is your debit. The reason it's a thousand is because the premium is ten dollars. Now, if we go back, remember, one contract get, gives you the right to buy 100 shares. One contract equals 100 shares. So anytime you see numbers when you're dealing with options, you are going to multiply that by 100. Uh, so you multiply the 10 by 100. That's how you get your thousand. You pay your thousand dollar debit to lock in the price at twenty five dollars. This is going to give you enough time to divvy up the rest of the money to buy 100 shares of Delta. Now, the $1,000 is going to go towards your purchase of 100 shares. So you're not going to pay 1000 plus another 2500 So you're not going to pay 3500 to get to this uh, position here. You're already going to put down your $1,000. Uh, look at it as layaway as well. You're going to put down your 1000 and then you're going to lock in this $25 stock price here. Okay? Now, anytime you are, like I said, you know, investing in options or buying options or trading options, you do want to take into consideration that price isn't the only factor that is uh take you can't take into consideration that that price is the only thing that's going to affect your options contract when you buy a stock of course you know the main thing is you want to focus on the price you know you want it to increase your going long but when it comes to options you have to take into account volatility you have to take into account which is very good you don't want to get too complicated but you know i also don't want you to think that you know you're just buying an options contract and you, then you're just focusing on price um, but like I said, going back to uh, theta with this time decay, it's not as aggressive. Those numbers aren't going to be as aggressive because this is so far out. Um, but at the same time, you know, these are things that you do need to take into consideration. So what this looks like, um, you know, in this case here, like I said, you're going to lock in this price of twenty five dollars. And we're going to be bullish because this is a bullish strategy because you want the stock price to increase. OK, and, you know, you don't necessarily have to take ownership of the stock. What you can do is, you know, you can just buy this options contract, still ride the wave and benefit off the rise and um, off, off the price of movement uh, going up. Or, you know, you can use this to enter a stock position. You know, I know a few people who do use options just to take ownership of stock, you know, or, and, and I just just like me. I know a lot of options traders who just benefit off of the, the movement of the stock price or lack thereof. But this here, we do need the stock price to move. OK, um, I don't want to go, you know, deep into the details on a call option. This works on any stock. You know, you can you can get other uh, options on other companies. Let's say, for instance, if you want to go to the financials, depending on if the, the volume is there. So if we go to the table. Yeah. So look, even Bank of America, they're trading at twenty three fifteen. At one point they were at, let's see, thirty four, eighty four, thirty five dollars. This is back in January. So you can lock in stock prices. For dirt cheap, that twenty three fifteen, you you can it's volume here where you can lock it in at thirteen dollars. But let's go back to Delta real quick because if you want to go a little further down, 
uh, and lock in even a cheaper price. You can lock in a thirteen dollar price here at seventeen at seventeen thirty, and you can get it at thirteen bucks if you you know if you get if you get filled and you want to exercise that position. Um, but you know just to get closer to the money, your debit is a little bit cheaper. Uh, because this here, you know, obviously you're going to, you know, dish out a little bit more money, um, but you will have to, you know, come to the table with something at thousand dollars as opposed to twenty six hundred dollars up front. So you're saving sixteen hundred dollars. You're going to get more of a profit from using an options contract versus stock. And at the same time, it's going to give you time to purchase the hundred shares if you want to. And the good thing about this, you have an option. These are options. They give you options. So you can either take ownership of the stock or you can walk away. So you can close this at any time before the, the position expires. This is why I love trading options, because you you call the shots when you're buying. If you're selling, you know, it's uh, it's a little bit different. You are obligated to deliver the shares. Just like we're buying and we have the option. Someone is selling us these calls. So they would be obligated if we exercise our position. OK, I hope, you know, I hope that didn't go over your head. I hope that wasn't too uh, difficult to grasp. You know, if you have any questions, continue to reach out to me. Ask me questions. I appreciate the feedback that I'm getting. I appreciate the questions um, that I'm getting my way. People are interested in, you know, trading options. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Go ahead and share this. We'll talk more about it. Thank you so much for your time. And have a good one.